Do I look all right? I asked Emma to count to three before she let him in. Dorian, you look terrific. You? Do you want me to slip out the back? Don't you want to meet him? Are you kidding me? Why else do you think I've been hanging around here so long? Good. <laughs> Hi, Dorian. Hello. I'm sorry I'm late. Oh, were you? I didn't notice. Well, uh, my meeting lasted a little bit longer than I expected, uh, but I'm glad you weren't concerned. Oh, no, it, it, it gave uh, Connie and me a chance to catch up on some work, didn't it, Connie? Yes. We got a lot accomplished. Uh -huh. uh, uh, John, I would like you to meet my assistant, uh, Connie O'Neill. Connie, this is uh, Jonathan Russell. Mr. Russell, it's nice to meet you. Dorian's told me many uh, interesting things about you. <laughs> oh, has she now? Yes. Well. Yes, but Connie was just leaving, weren't you, Connie? Yes. So have fun, you two. Good night. Thank you. <laughs> uh, I'm afraid we're not going to have much fun tonight, Dorian. Oh, why? Uh, I have to cancel our dinner date. Oh, no. Yeah, i am uh, Well, I'm as disappointed as you. I mean, you look absolutely beautiful tonight. And, uh, well, irresistible, in fact. Well, then why are you resisting? Well, that meeting that I told you about, uh, something came up, and I have to take care of it right away. I see. I'm sure in your line of work, you, you get used to uh, doing business at all hours of the night. I'm afraid so. However, I <clears throat> was, well, my heart was set on having dinner with you. So why don't we just postpone it until tomorrow night? Well, tomorrow night would be lovely, but... Grand, uh, we have a date then. Unfortunately, I've already made other plans. Oh. Yeah. But, uh, listen, maybe Miss O'Neill and I can figure out uh, some other time when we're both free. That'd be nice. Well, terrific, then. I can't tell you how sorry I am, Dorian. Neither can I. But we'll get together soon. Good night, Dorian. Good night. Miss O'Neill? Mr. Russell, I'll show you to the door. Uh, that's okay. I can see my way out. All right. Ah, oh, Dorian, I'm really sorry. I don't understand. I mean, I'll admit it. I've been, I've been stood up in my life, but that means... I, mean, I think that man is attracted to me, don't you? Oh, I'm sure he is. Well, then what happened? Between now and when he was here an hour ago. Somebody's gotten to him. Somebody has brainwashed him against me. Oh, don't blame me for being upset, Dorian. He is even cuter than you said he was. Oh, thank you, Connie. I really needed to hear that now. <laughs> but what makes you think that he canceled the date because of you? It could be the problems with him. What kind of a problem could that man have? I can think of one. A wife. No, no. Don't you think I thought of that? No ring, no wife, no problem, mm. except me. Well, I could tell he's very, very attracted to you. Could you really? Oh. Then why is he playing so hard to get? Who knows? But the way you look in that dress and the way he was looking at you, he will be back. Oh, I hope so. In the meantime, here I am. All dressed up and no place to go. Unless, perhaps you'd like to have dinner with me. Ah. I'm sorry, I can't. Of course, you have a date. No, as far as men are concerned, you and I are in the same boat. I'm glad to hear it. Thanks. No, I'm not, not for your sake, dear, for mine. It's true. Misery does love company. Mm. Well, I don't have very exciting plans, but I did promise Pete and Didi I'd be home for dinner. Oh. Well, hey, why don't you come along with me? A nice home-cooked meal? Yeah. In this dress? Well, I'll <laughs> wait for you to change. No. Sorry. I look a bit too smashing to let this all go to waste. You understand? <laughs> That's what I like about you, Dorian. You don't just have it, you flaunt it. It's a little difficult to flaunt it all by yourself. Well, I'm sure you can find someone to flaunt with. At the moment, I can't think of a single soul. <laughs> well, in either case, I've got to be going. So you sure you don't want some famous home cooking now? No, no, but please give uh, Pete and Dee Dee my best. Oh, I will. Oh, what? Listen, whatever you do, don't sulk. I never sulk. Uh, hello, uh, this is Dorian Lord. May I speak to the district attorney, please? Oh, he isn't. All right, then would you take a message for me? Uh, tell him that there's been an emergency. No. Tell him that I've been stood up for dinner. Yes, you heard me, stood up. And that I look absolutely divine, and I would love him to take advantage of it. 
Thank you. Goodbye. <laughs>